everybody. Good morning. Hello. It's Thursday. It is Thursday. Thursday. Today we got the Boris and Robert show starting a little bit. I made a sandwich. Boris, getting ready for the show. Uh, all right, so uh, it, it is Thursday, so that means uh, Attorney John Spillboard is going to be on the air with us this morning. And uh, every week, is that your phone? Let's get an email. Uh, Someone say, hey, I, I, you're on Facebook Live right now. That is, that's oh, it's a text. 101.5 is live right now on oh, Facebook. He got an alert that, that we're live on Facebook. Guess what? Here we are. What? <laughs> Meta. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, you know, Jana comes in every uh, week. She's a uh, attorney at law, and she gives people advice on their uh, legal problems. So if you've got one, you can uh, email us uh, or text Beat Sandwich, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll ask Jana. We've got an interesting uh, letter from somebody who has a roommate issue. Uh, there's that third-wheel roommate that no one wants around, uh, and uh, they're having a little legal trouble trying to get that per person out. <laughs> I've been there, actually. Yeah. The, as the third wheel? Or no, as the... no. <laughs> no, some guy crashed on our couch for like three months. Really? Yeah. And you kept trying to get him out? and Yeah, eventually we just like threw his stuff out on the curb. And I was like, you got to find a new place to live. <laughs> That'll yeah. work. Yeah. That'll work. Uh, but uh, I guess I guess this group, uh, the guy's a little more litigious than your, your friend on the couch. <laughs> so uh, they're trying to find a way to do it. So John has got some advice. Uh, Richie, good morning to you. Fred, good morning from Liberty. Hey, Fred and Liberty. Uh, Abby, good morning to you again. All right, so uh, we'll find out. And again, if you've got some sort of legal question, uh, just email it to us, and we'll, we'll pass it along to Jana. Maybe we'll use it for one of our upcoming features. Uh, also, we're going to ask uh, Jana about the uh, Gap Warehouse uh, fire, because it looks like there's some evidence, and we don't know how true this is or not. It's still being investigated. That one of the employees uh, set a box on fire. Right. And we have that picture up at WPDH.com, and that kind of caused this enormous disaster down there at the uh, Gap. Well, luckily, no one died, but, right. I mean, there was, uh, you know, some fire personnel that were injured. So um, the question for John is, and I'm really just curious about this, is, you know, if, if that is true and if an employee actually set that fire, you know, what's going to happen to them? Yeah, that's, they, that's weird. Do they go, like, to, they go to jail? Like, how long would they go to jail for? Like, are they, like, on the hook for, like, the millions of dollars of inventory and building that was damaged? I, th uh, I feel like probably, right? If they're responsible they, for burning the place down. They should be, right? I, but I don't know. Is there a difference between if there was intent, like if they were a disgruntled employee and they did it to, like, you know, destroy the place, or mm -hmm. if they were just, like, being an idiot and goofing around and it went out of control? Like, what's the difference in the law's eyes? Or is there a difference? We'll find out from, from John this morning. Uh, oh, hi, Adam. How are you? Gail, good morning. A lot of people, a lot of people up early this morning. Yeah. All right. Crazy. Welcome to our world. This is great. <laughs> Uh, oh, and the uh, search for the funniest person in the Hudson Valley continues. Meat Sandwich and I have been having a great time watching your videos that yes. you guys have been sending in. There's been some great ones. Some of them have been, like, hilarious. Just like, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think, finding the funniest person. Yeah. Others have been terrible. <laughs> but those are the ones I seem to enjoy even more. We've right. been having a lot of fun. So we're going to share some of the uh, videos we've gotten so far. And it's only been, like, two days since we launched this contest. And already yeah, we've just already been got flooded with videos. So... Uh, if you or someone you know is funny, send us a video. Maybe we'll include you in uh, one of our showcases, and you could be named the funniest person in the Hudson Valley. See, the thing with being funny is that everybody thinks that they have a great sense of humor. Right. You've never met anyone who said, yeah, no, I don't really... Uh, I don't appreciate I don't, jokes. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a good sense of humor at all. I don't know what's funny. Uh, so everyone thinks that they're funny, but are they? We'll, we'll, we'll let you guys decide that. Uh, Joseph, Artie, Gail, hi everybody. All right, excellent. All right, so that's uh, pretty much the show for today. Uh, oh, we're also going to be talking about this guy in the Hudson Valley that was uh, arrested for hating Donald Trump. <laughs> he went on a, a month and a half rampage against his neighbor, ripping down his Trump signs and flags really? for a month and a half. There was a huge investigation that went on with this whole thing. A lot of police activity. <laughs> And time was taken to capture this guy who was finally captured yesterday. So we'll talk about that too. All right. Have a great morning. Meet Sandwich. Hey, thanks so much as always. Uh, of course. Coming in early for the uh, pre-show show. Robin's, You're welcome. Robin's doing her pre-show stretches right now. She's getting ready to go. <laughs> Some so calisthenics. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the air in a few minutes. Thanks.